Hi, this is Casey Demchek, and in this week's book marketing copy quick tip video, I'm going to solve a mystery for you. And that's the mystery of writer's block. You always hear about authors having writer's block, and you know, when you write marketing copy, uh, theoretically, you can have writer's block as well. And I'm going to give you three big tips today on how to beat writer's block. Tip number one, uh, writer's block when you're writing marketing copy. Tip number one is to acknowledge that writer's block doesn't exist, okay? It's, you, you can't have writer's block if writer's block doesn't exist. What I mean is, for you to be completely blocked off, your brain would have to be shut off. You can always write something on paper. You can always get something down. So, what I've concluded is that what we call writer's block is really just a fear of not being able to write something good, okay? So, you really, you can always write something, but writer's block is when you feel like, I can't write anything good. So, that brings me to my second tip. Tip, tip number one, Acknowledge that writer's block doesn't exist and it ties into tip number two, which is give yourself permission to write crappy copy, especially with your first draft. Trust me, I do it all the time, but nobody ever sees it. Fortunately, I get a lot of compliments on my marketing copy, which is good because that's how I earn a living. Um, but I always allow myself in a, in a first draft when I'm writing, I'll let myself write some lousy stuff knowing I can revise it. That's where the magic is. The magic is in revising your copy. As I always say, good writing is rewriting. Great writing is rewriting some more. So give yourself permission. Don't worry if your first drafts are kind of crappy. You can always fix them. And that's a perfect way to get over being blocked. Just give yourself permission to get something down on paper. That ties into tip number three, a great way to get over uh, writer's block when you're writing marketing copy is to just get something down on paper. What I mean by that is you may sit down like if I, if I write a back cover copy, website sales page, e-blast, obviously you always start with a headline. But I, when I sit down to write something, I may not feel like writing the headline first. So I may write the middle part of the sales copy first. Um, instead of writing, let's say, uh, headlines, I might write some benefit-driven bullet points for the middle section of the copy. If I don't feel like doing that, I may write a call to action line at the bottom of the copy first. So I never write my copy in sequence from beginning to end. I write different parts as I feel like writing them and what I feel strongly about in the moment. And then in the end when I'm doing revisions, I tie it all together. But I always make it a point, just get something down on paper so I can get started I write my marketing copy typically out of sequence because I feel strongly about writing a particular part at a particular time. You know, I'm just in the mood for maybe writing a headline or maybe I'm not. I bring it all together in the end. So just, just get something down on paper. So again, to review your three tips to beat writer's block, acknowledge it doesn't exist. You can always write something. Give yourself permission to write lousy first drafts. You can always revise them. And when you sit down to write marketing copy, just get something down on paper, something you feel like writing at that moment. You'll be surprised when, you know, when you get something up on into your document, now you no longer are looking at a blank page. You feel better. You can slowly build some momentum. So I hope this tip has been helpful for you this week. No matter where you're watching this video, scroll on down, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. You'll be alerted when my new videos come out. And uh, then maybe hop on over to CaseyDemchak.com where you can download my free ebook, Seven Must Know Copywriting Secrets That Sell More Books. And until next week, take a lot of action and make things happen.